you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay. Go back to your mother. Go back to your mother. Okay. Come on. <laughs> What is going on guys, Brandon Jay. Today we are at a beautiful lake here in the Winter Haven Shannon Lakes and we're gonna be diving down at a party sandbar. I've got the metal detector here. We're gonna be seeing if we can find any lost jewelry or anything anybody might have lost at the sandbar. About a week and a half ago, I actually dove this sandbar and found a ton of trash. Also found some really cool sunglasses that I ended up giving to some of the people at the sandbar. So many people come out and party at this place. It's gonna be absolutely unreal because today is another weekend. So let me go ahead and break down the plan for you guys. Obviously, I have my scuba tank right here. I'm gonna be strapping that on. It's gonna allow me to stay hours and hours under the water. As I said earlier, we have the dental demector, so I'm gonna be able to search for any metal that may have been lost at the sandbar. Obviously, if I pass any trash or treasure that I can see with my eyes without the metal detector, I'm gonna be grabbing that, throwing it in a trash bag. All the trash we find is gonna be thrown away at the end of the day, and all the treasure we find is gonna be taken to the pawn shop so we can get that money. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's probably just gonna go into my bedroom and be locked away. If you guys like seeing these videos, make sure you drop a big old thumbs up on this video. If we can reach 10,000 likes on this video, I'll go out into the ocean, find a big party sandbar there, dive down with the metal detector, see if we can find treasure there as well. 10,000 likes, let's get it. And of course, we have Bay right here. She's looking so sexy. We have so many different names, but I haven't picked one yet. So let me know what we should name her in the comment section below. And just like last time, we have Hudson who is gonna be driving the jet ski over top of me with the dive flag to make sure I don't get run over. And we also have my good buddy, Corey, who owns the Bass Cat right next to my uh, jet ski over here. And we're gonna be taking people out, having a good time on the sandbar as well. Basically, when we get done with the video, we're gonna have a lake day. We're gonna go out tubing. We're gonna go out jet skiing, having a good time. All right, guys, Corey and Hudson are going in that. I'm gonna take out Bay. Oh gosh, oh, she's so heavy. <laughs> All right, let's get the party started. I'm, hey, that's nice, I like that. <laughs> that's cool. All right guys, so we just pulled up to the sandbar. I've got a uh, bay parked in the bushes over here. There's a ton of boats. We got boaters over on this side of like the channel and then we have like 10 boats lined up right here behind me. So this whole thing is a sandbar. There's so many people that come in from like all the different lakes. I think there's like 27 different lakes that are all connected by canals. Uh, so pretty much everybody comes to this lake because it's the clearest and they hang out on the sandbar and uh, just kind of swim, hang out, drink, have fun. Oh my God, there's a bass right here. Dude, he's coming to my feet right here. Look, 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 right here in front of me. So a lady like right over there, she like low key took a picture of my jet ski and I looked and she like put her phone down. But that means she likes the jet ski. Or, or maybe she was like sending it to somebody and be like, this is so ugly. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I just thought about that. But that was pretty funny to see that. I like looked and she's like. <laughs> all right guys, so we got all the gear on. We're about to hop in the water. Hudson's gonna get on the jet ski and follow me with a dive flag. Uh, this big metal detector right here, I'm gonna wear these headphones. It's gonna alert me when any metal is detected. At that point, I'll switch over to this. This is my pinpointer. It's gonna tell me exactly where that metal is. I'm gonna dig and then throw it in this bag right here. So hopefully we can find something good. Make sure you have my back, huh? You got oh, I me? I got you, man. Don't worry about that. <laughs> All right.
what I just found. A gold, a gold ring. Oh, that's pretty dope, dude. Gold ring. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think it's it's definitely got to be real. Wow, that's really cool. You think it's a wedding band, like a man's? Wow, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Does that mean we're married now? Oh wow. <laughs> All right guys, so just took a little break out of the water. It is a little bit more murky than it normally is, but I found my first banger of the day. I've got a wedding ring right here. It's like a uh, male's wedding band. It's a, a gold band and uh, doesn't really have anything on it. Doesn't really say anything, um, but that's kind of cool to find a wedding band, a gold wedding ring uh, in the sand out here. So somebody was partying and they lost it, but my metal detector goes off for all the different types of metal. I don't have it like discriminating for certain metals. So I find like beer cans with it. I find wedding rings with it. They all sound the same, but when it went over the ring, it was like zoom, zoom, it was like super loud. So I got kind of excited. I started like dusting off all the sand and sure enough, I saw the ring and it was awesome. <laughs> Look at him. We actually watched you on YouTube the other day. Oh, no way. Yeah, my yeah, husband we'll was you. talking about oh, it. Oh, thank you and so then, much. Come here, I will save it. you. I will save you. Oh, okay, wow, you're really smart. <laughs> you just saw the floaty? Yeah. Are you kidding me? What's his name? Maverick. Maverick? Oh my goodness. Maverick, are you ready? Girl. We're gonna go over here. Get it, Maverick. Get it, Maverick. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh, come on Maverick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this reminds me of Tristan's puppy. He's got a chocolate lab too. His name's Presley and I love him so much. Get it! Oh! Hey. There you go, bud! I got you, I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay, go back to your mother. Go back to your mother. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta get a pup. <laughs> I love him so much. I'm not crying, I just got water in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first good find of the day. We're gonna keep diving. I think we're gonna go over to the channel though. We hit almost this whole sandbar where a lot of boats park, but there's like a big channel that's like even a little shallower than this, really clear water. Uh, we're gonna go over there and see if we can find anything. But I do have a banger, so I'm good, I'm happy. This right here is where my job comes in really crucial because he wants to dive right in the middle of a channel that everybody travels through. And because he's metal detecting with the headphones on, he can't hear me. So he is completely in his own world down there. And I really have to make sure I can keep the boats off of him. doing his job <laughs> he just blocked me from this big pontoon right here <laughs> I had no clue it was coming so <laughs> good job hut <laughs> appreciate it man All right guys, so we just made it back to the boat ramp. I did find some good stuff today. However, I didn't find a lot of stuff, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it means the area is pretty clean. It's a bad thing because I wanted to find a bunch of epic stuff for you guys. And unfortunately, I only found a few things. However, we do have the golden ring. We do have the jewel. We do have a bunch of like little beer cap and a bunch of chain stuff like that. So the best find of the day has to be the gold wedding band. That's a really, really cool find. I do wish it had some markings or anything like that on it though, so I could potentially find the owner. However, it's just solid, so it's gonna be almost impossible. Second best find has to be the jewel. That's just a really fun find. 
and it even had the little jewel pot in it. Most of the time that stuff falls out. And of course, I found a bunch of bottle caps just like we normally do and a bunch of change, but not even enough for the dollar menu. I don't even think we scraped up enough change for a whole dollar. I had a blast going down there with a metal detector and I love using this thing because it allows me to find so much stuff that I would never even be able to see with a naked eye. If you guys want to see more metal detecting videos, just like I said previously, if we can get 10,000 likes on this video, I'll go out into the ocean, find a big sandbar out there that people party on, dive down and see what we find there as well. With that being said, that is going to pretty much wrap up today's video. Thank you, Hudson, for keeping me safe. Always, Thank you, Corey, for bringing everybody out on your boat. And we have got the tube right here. We're about to go out and have a good time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Peace out. You and I till the end. So far, I found a bunch of trash in a wedding ring. Found a so wedding ring. I did. I found a like a gold wedding Was this band. Is a real one or is another one of Dally's pranks? No, <laughs> it is not. I hope it is not a prank. If it's a prank, uh, Jake is all the way in Georgia, so this would be a very elaborate prank that he would pull. But yeah, he called yeah. me last night. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a real one. <laughs>